Hi everyone, today we are in lesson 9.1 and we are talking about relating tenths and decimals. The essential question asks, how can you record tenths as fractions and decimals? Well, we've done fractions already in previous lessons. So now we are just taking that and learning about decimals. So let's get started. Let's pull out the question. The question says, Ty is reading a book about metamorphic rocks. He has read seven tenths of the book. What decimal describes the part of the book Ty has read? Let me underline the important information. So first, let's underline the question. What decimal describes the part of the book Ty has read? Well, we know that he's read seven tenths of the book. And we, um, if you look in your colored pages, I forgot to tell you what pages it is. It's on page 343 in your colored math book. If you look there, it says a decimal is a number with one or more digits to the right of the decimal point. Okay? So that's what a decimal is. So let's see. One way we can do this is use a model and place value charts. So let's click and see what they want us to do. Shade seven tenths of the model. So is there any holes before this number? Any holes right there? Whole numbers? No, there isn't. So you know that you're not shading a whole box. You're only going to shade part of a box. You're going to only shade seven tenths of the box. So you're going to shade how many pieces of this box? If you said you're going to shade seven pieces of this box, you are correct. We got that from right there. Seven pieces are shaded out of the ten pieces the box is split into. Okay, now we want to, oops. The model is divided into ten equal parts. Each part represents one tenth. And we had to shade in seven of those. So now we're going to write it as a fraction. Seven tenths. All right, next part, let me scoot your little question up here, is that was the fraction part. Now we're going to do the decimal part. Seven tenths is seven tenths. THS. If you notice, THS comes after the decimal point. Here's your decimal point. And here is anything after the decimal point comes with THS. There is no ones, though. They skip the ones place over here. It starts with ones over here ones, tens, hundreds. Here, they, on this side, on the right side of the decimal, they start with tenths. They start with the THS, THS, and it always starts with 10. So it's tenths, hundredths, and it keeps going from there. So how many whole pieces do we have here? Do we have any whole pieces? No, so we have zero. How many tenths do we have? Seven. Perfect. Now they want us to write it as the decimal. So it's 0 0.7. 0 decimal point 7. So what you um, say, if there is a whole number here, you would say and for the decimal. But since there's not a whole number here, how you would just read this is 7 Tenths.
All right, seven tenths is how you would say that and how you would write it, how you would write it here, how you would read it. All right, are we good with that? Let's move on. Another way to do this is to look at a number line or to use a number line. So, same question. So I'm just going to kind of leave it right up here for you. Label the num label the number line with decimals that e are equivalent to the fractions. Locate the point seven tenths. Well, if you notice these decimals, they zero, they go right with that. They just put a point and then a two. So this would be a zero. There's no holes. A point and then a three. Zero, point, and a four. I hope your writing is much neater than mine. Zero, point, five. Zero, point, six. Oh, that five looks like a six. Hmm. Zero, point, seven. Zero, ooh, point, eight. Zero point nine, and then now it becomes a whole number. Ten tenths would be one whole. All right. <clears throat> so now it says name names the same amount as seven tenths. What names the same amount as seven tenths? Right there. Let me redo that for you so I don't draw on it. Right there, seven tenths and seven tenths. So 0 0.7, seven tenths. All right, let's do it real quick with one more. So it says Tara rode her bicycle one and six tenths miles. What decimal describes how far she rode her bicycle? Use a, mo use a model and place value chart. So first we're going to do it as a fraction. Here she does re um, sorry, ride her bike more than one. Last, in the last problem, he read he didn't read a whole book. So remember, that's why we only shaded in just the partial amount because he didn't read that whole book. Or he didn't read another whole book. He didn't read any whole books. He or she has rode her, bi her bicycle a whole mile. One whole mile plus a little extra. So we're going to have to shade in this whole thing for the one All right, and then how many pieces? We would need to shade it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, six tenths. Six out of the ten we just shade it. And we would write that as a fraction. We would write one and six. tenths. Now let's do that as a decimal. One and six tenths is one whole and six tenths. So let's fill in our place value chart. One whole and six tenths. One and we save for the decimal six tenths with a THS at the end. Use the ones place to record the holes. That's exactly what we did. We brought that one down here and the six here. We don't do anything with the ten. We just know it's six tenths. How do we write that number? We write it like this. One and six tenths. How do we read it? We read it the same way as we read the other one. One 
and six tenths. All right, so what did we learn today? Let's go back and see if we can answer our question. Relate tenths and decimals. How can you record tenths as fractions and decimals? Well, we did both of those. Here's our fraction. We drew it out and we related it to our decimal. And we also did it on a number line. We related the fraction to the decimal. And we also did it again with a whole number as a, um, a whole, a mixed number, I should say, a whole and fractions. It's called a mixed number. And then we change that mixed number into a decimal. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye, everyone.